What's up, O-Doers, and welcome back. Here at Stealthy Wood, delivering on time means more than just packing boxes. It's about reserving stock for the right orders. By default, Odoo assigns inventory to the first confirmed delivery, even if that shipment isn't scheduled for weeks. So that being said, if a second order comes in and that needs to go out in two days, but let's say there's only enough stock for one, Odoo still gives it to the first order. And hey, that's fine if you're shipping a few packages a day, but once volume picks up, manual corrections just don't cut it. That's why warehouse managers need smarter reservation methods, ones that prioritize urgency over date and keep high priority deliveries on track. Now, before we dive into how reservation methods work, we're gonna clear something up. Reservation methods decide which orders get available stock first, especially when you have limited inventory and multiple orders. Removal strategies, on the other hand, decide which stock units are used to fulfill an order, like FIFO or by location. Let's visualize this now since we've got that cleared up and walk through the different reservation methods in Odoo. There are three different reservation methods in Odoo, starting off at at confirmation, which is the most basic one, then we have manually, and then last we have before scheduled date. Each controls when products are reserved and when stock is promised for delivery. So let's explore each one. Let's start with at confirmation. This method reserves products automatically when a sales order is confirmed, as long as stock is available. Let's see this in action. Here in our Stealthywood database, we've already set the delivery operation type to at confirmation. We can do that by hopping into the inventory application, selecting configuration at the top, followed by operation types. And here on our operations type page, we're just going to select delivery orders. And then right off the bat, we're just going to bring our attention to this reservation methods section. And here is where we can verify that at confirmation is ticked and enabled. With that all set, let's create a sales order and see how this all works. We're going to jump back to our home page and just click into our sales application. And here we're going to click new in this top left corner to create a new SO. On this SO form, we're going to add Deco Addict in the customer field. And it looks like he wants to buy 10 cable management boxes. So we're going to click add product, type in cable management box, and we're going to add a quantity of 10 to this order. If the availability icon here is green, it means it's in stock. In Odoo, the color indicators help us understand the availability status at a glance. If the availability icon is red, then it means there's no stock available. These visual cues help our warehouse team quickly identify if orders are ready to be picked and which are still awaiting action. And with all of this set, we're just going to hit confirm. And with this order confirmed, the stock is instantly reserved, if the stock is available, of course. If we click this forecast button here, we can see that Odoo confirmed that 10 have been reserved for this order. And just to double check, we can also click this delivery smart button here at the top. And clicking into this delivery order will take us to the delivery order for this specific SO that we just placed. And this can be found directly in the inventory app as well. And once we're on the delivery order page, we can also verify that all the products for this order are reserved since the quantity field here on the right matches the demand. If the quantity does not match the demand, then delivery order is not fully reserved. The last way to verify if products for the delivery order are correctly reserved is by checking the product availability field. And if it shows available in green, it means all of those check out and we're ready to ship this off. And then at that point, all we'd have to do is click validate to complete this order. So this method is great when you usually have stock available or if you want to reserve inventory the moment the order is confirmed. Next, let's take a look at the manual reservation method. I went ahead and changed the reservation method to manual and followed the same steps to configure that option as I did for the at confirmation method. I also already created another delivery order, so let's check it out and spot the differences. Here on the delivery orders card, we're going to click on this waiting button. The delivery order is marked as waiting instead of ready since the products have not yet been reserved for this specific delivery order. And when we click into this delivery order, we're going to take a look at two things. First, we'll notice that the product availability field says available in yellow rather than green. 
This is because we have the stock available in our inventory, but we're still waiting for the product to be reserved for this delivery order. We'll also see this check availability button here at the top left of the delivery order. And if we click that button, then and only then will Odoo reserve the product for this order, assuming it's in stock, of course. And look at that. Our product availability field turns to a green available when we click that button, indicating that we're all ready to deliver these goods. Now, why would you want to use this method? This method is great if you want to prioritize reservations manually based on urgency, customer status, or shipping deadlines. And you also don't need to have stock tied up automatically, especially if items are limited or of high value. This method of reservation is by far the most hands-on. Now, last but not least, we're going to take a look at the before scheduled date reservation method. With this option, Odoo waits until the set amount of days before the scheduled delivery date to start automatically reserving products. In order to save time, I've already hopped into my inventory settings and changed the reservation method to before scheduled date. And what we'll notice is when this option is selected, we'll see two more fields appear. Currently, this reservation method is telling me that Odoo will reserve stock two days before the scheduled delivery date for regular deliveries. And if the delivery is starred, then Odoo will reserve the stock four days in advance than said. And for my visual learners, here is what the timeline of two days before the scheduled date looks like. And here's the timeline for four days before one starred. Now let's take a look at what delivery orders look like before and after they're reserved and ready for delivery. One delivery order will be prioritized and the other one will have the same standard lead time. In each order, the schedule date field is the day we promise to ship out the products. Odoo uses this date to determine when to reserve stock based on our rule to reserve it two days before delivery. On our delivery orders page, we can see that both of these orders are scheduled to be delivered in five days. And because the before scheduled window date hasn't been reached, both of these orders are marked as waiting in the status column. Another thing to note is that one order is highly prioritized, indicated by the yellow star to the left of the reference column, while the other order has our standard prioritization. Four days before the scheduled date, Odoo will automatically reserve the products for the highly prioritized delivery order and move it to the ready area. On the other hand, the standard prioritized delivery, warehouse out 56, will still remain in the waiting area and still await reservation for the products within that order. We know this order is still awaiting reservation since it's marked with the waiting tag in the status column instead of ready. And as expected, Two days before the scheduled delivery, the unstarred delivery is automatically reserved and ready as well. Here we can see both orders have the ready tag in the status column, which means that all of the products have been reserved for both orders, and all we have to do now is ship them out before the scheduled deadline. So this method is perfect when you want to avoid tying up inventory too early, maybe you want to prioritize high value or urgent deliveries, or you just need more flexibility in a fast-moving warehouse. Remember, Odooers, if needed, you can always override or manually reserve stock at any time. And that's a wrap on reservation methods. As you just saw, Odoo gives you flexibility to choose how and when your stock gets reserved, whether it's immediately when sales orders are confirmed or when a user says so. Or last, we can even just do it a few days before delivery. Each method supports a different workflow depending on how you manage your inventory, prioritize orders, or handle limited stock. So be sure to pick out the one that works best for your team. And remember, you can always reserve manually if needed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, Odooers.